This is Twit. So let's talk about AI yes. as if we hadn't. Like there's yeah, flaws so, in your co-pilot or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's a gentleman who uh, was a former Microsoft security architect, interestingly. Uh, now mm. is his own security company. So he is, definitely has something to sell. But he uh, discovered, I think I want to say it was 15 flaws in Copilot. Oh, man. Uh, which is a, a big deal because, and that when specifically But, what, but wait, when you like, say f- a flaw in uh, an AI, yeah. that just means uh, it, uh, it would do things. Well, uh, that it would exceed its safety parameters, right? There you go. Yeah. So, and this is important. Well, this would be important for anyone, right? But uh, because obviously Microsoft has all these controls built in to prevent that. But. In a co-pilot for Microsoft 365 scenario where you're working against corporate data that is very specifically um, try, you know, uh, private and don't want out in the world, this can be serious. Um, I should also point out that um, some of this stuff requires basic social engineering stuff, right? And so, mm-hmm. you know, he used AI to generate things that seemed like they were real coming from the company of some person it seems like they were oh. generated by co-pilot itself yeah, so it was they, sort of believable spearfish with this yeah, the, yeah right that's exactly right yeah um but and I, for whatever it's worth you know he also did the right thing which is you know he went to microsoft ahead of black hat and said look this is what i found and he's working with them and they you know they're fixing the problem so um he didn't document anything that someone could go now and abuse but then he still went on and did the talk and said don't worry microsoft is fixing this like well he like i said he's not a he's not a charity he's still you know he's he's got a a service to sell and all that kind of stuff and that's a big part of this but um and yeah so i mean i just whatever those are the caveats so um i copilot and ai in general kind of introduces a whole new level of problem right (laughs) so uh, when you think about anyone uh, being fooled by uh, a phone call, a text message, a an email, or whatever, and then revealing personal information, and on and on we go. This is always bad, no matter how you look at it. But but the point being, these are not buffer overflows. You know, your yeah, classic bugs. Right. This is this new class of software. They're trying to put you know guardrails around it, and it is uh, hard. Yeah. Well, you know, if you th- go back to the early recall stuff, it was like. Um, First, uh, get a computer that's not a Copilot Plus PC. Right. Okay. <laughs> Which yeah. is like, first, uh, give me your administrator password. Okay. And now I've compromised your computer. See how insecure yeah. it is? Like, done, done, what? done. Yeah, we're yeah. all So doomed. there's a little bit of that. But not, But then again, I mean, this um, in this particular case, that is how hackers are going to gain entry to systems and so forth. So uh, I just thought it was kind of interesting on a number of levels. But the thing I, I guess I appreciate the most here is just that... Um, you know, as a former member of, of a former security architect at Microsoft, he knew, he knew how to do this correctly, mm-hmm. and, uh, meaning disclose it to Microsoft, right? <laughs> so yeah. and work with them. It's the right way to do it. So that's I like to see that kind of thing. So that's good. Hey, it's me, Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Windows Weekly. If you want to see more and want to catch the whole show, you can subscribe in your favorite podcast client or visit our website, twit.tv/slash/ww. And of course, there's links right below me.